Hello. Journal number two for March 7th. It's from 11.05 a.m. And the Mayan day is 11 light or Lord. What is right and wrong? Does it matter if you listen to or read these in order? Not really. It helps, of course, as they are, there are threads that run through them at times. If one centers in heart, however, it's clear that each one also stands well enough on its own. Such things matter less than simply following your own heart, your own intuition in everything. It will not guide you wrong. Besides, when a journal is written, often has little bearing on when it gets recorded, or if it does. For every five I write, one or less gets recorded, and that's only the recent ones. I have maybe thousands of older ones, so it's all relative, isn't it? Anyway, you're not here for me. You're here for you. So, what can I offer you today? Center down, and let's see. As I share my journey, you will see the parallels with your own, and be blessed. Either you will want to follow that, or you will not. Either way is good, as it means you've gotten a bit more of yourself clarified. Do you see? As I was saying in the last one, a person doesn't have to agree with an author's conclusions or with his understandings in order to benefit from the reading. Self-discovery, clarification of the inner self to the outer awareness, is what it's all about, don't you think? And that's how it seems to me, the age-old trek of self-discovery. One hopes one is discovering one's higher self, of course, and if that's how you've set your compass, your inner intent, then that is very well what you're doing. You can't miss. Really, it just happens like that. Setting our intent and doing so clearly is of supreme importance. Does it sound boring? Well, I hope so, for that would mean that you are not in heart and also perhaps that you don't yet know yourself very well and that you're just floating along on the stream of life. And that would mean you've got the very most to gain from digesting some of this stuff. Then again, of course, I hope it doesn't sound boring. That's right. Earlier I said I hoped it did sound boring. But I hope it doesn't as well, since that means that you get it. You connect with the importance of setting your intention and the powerful place that takes in life. Was that confusing that I both hoped that it was boring and that it wasn't? Well, that's what I said and I did mean it. I didn't misspeak. There is a benefit to be had both ways, you see. And there is actually greater potential gain for the one who is at first bored with setting the intent concept. That's what I meant. It's more, too, of course. It's an example of taking both sides of the same argument and seeing the virtue in them both. This is easily done by the supposedly enlightened. I say supposedly because I don't have the right word for it yet. We come up out of our duality, yes, but I don't see it as any sort of final thing. The one thing that is final about it, though, is the goodbye, the complete and total goodbye we wind up saying to the whole way we used to view things, to our reality. It's really neat, though, because many things that used to baffle and torment us are completely defanged, and they're dissolved into blobs of nothingness. So much just clarifies itself somehow magically. It's pretty strange.